do you so you've mentioned your writing group a couple of times is that something that um you find to be crucial is that something you do like occasionally you're in a writing group occasionally you're not um and if so like would you where would you rate that i suppose on your scale of importance like having a writing group or versus not having a writing group sure so i'm part of two writing groups i've got a mm -hmm. writing group that i go to uh writers together halifax and we uh, we meet every week uh or so and uh we talk about our writing and we get feedback from each other i'm in the break-ins uh mm -hmm. which is a group of indie publishing authors that um, you've had a couple of them on and mm -hmm. uh, we are all working towards our, our publishing um you know within this kind of 12 to 24 month uh time frame and i would credit um those groups with helping me to to publish this work and make it good um i don't know that you can quantify it but i would mm -hmm. say i think they are uh, definitely in large part um in large part uh, part of my success mm -hmm. uh, part of the reason that i was able to do this very supportive i think that you need to find a community and you need to be part of that community uh, of support to be successful in this kind of work. It's a very, very um, lonely business to mm -hmm. be in, to sit down and write for hours on end, and it's just yourself and your characters. So to mm -hmm. be able to talk to other people about it is very enjoyable and finding some objective opinions that are not your, uh, your spouse or your best friend or, uh, or your aunt or uncle is, is also very helpful. Um, it's very helpful because it's, uh, it helps you to understand someone else's perspective that has a different, uh, view than you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I found sharing him in a writing group, um, especially the one that I, I haven't been in a while, but I, the one that I was going to sharing, um, not everyone was a fantasy or sci-fi person. So you had some people who were maybe they're writing romance or literary fiction, or, you know, as we had some fantasy people having the people who don't write sci-fi or fantasy, I always felt like if I could get them to understand what's going on, that would be a big win. But then I also really valued a lot of their feedback because even if maybe their suggestion wouldn't actually work, the, mm -hmm. um, the fact that they even asked the question kind of helped me formulate a better question to help me fix what they were questioning. You know what I mean? It tells you something. I'm a hundred percent with you. I've got um, one of my writing groups, uh, one of my writing friends, RJ. Um, she told me one time I was reading the scene. She said, I think you've been, uh, you've been kind of leaning on this campfire scene. I said, what do you mean? She said, I think you've got four of them so far. <laughs> and that informed me to say, Hey, listen, like this is boring. Mm -hmm. You know, she was correct. It doesn't work. Um, you can't just keep going back to the well on the same structure of a scene to inform, um, your plot or, or your characters or, um, or your narrative. Right. It's, uh, I think all feedback is good feedback. And to your point, um, with the exception of the break-ins, uh, the other writing group of men, writers together, Halifax, all of them write different than me. Whether yeah. it's sci-fi, literary, um, historical, uh, they're all uh, they're all writing different stuff, and I think that that actually gives me very valuable feedback um, because if they they may not know exactly what's wrong, but they can tell from a story lens that something's not working for the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think that uh, that's almost been more valuable to me than uh, talking with other authors that write the same way. Because, again, it just makes you think differently.